Okay, I'm back at school, but today Raven's not here and I don't know how I'm gonna deal with all the bullies and everyone looking at me funny seeing as Raven's not here. It was okay when I had someone to talk to, but now he's been kicked out and it's just, it's just me alone again. But I'm feeling strong enough to go to school today, even though the messages haven't stopped. I'm not sure what I'm going to do though. I don't have any proof that Brittany's behind all of it, even though I know it, it's her. Okay, one thing I can't do is cry crumble to the bullies oh gosh excuse me sorry i can't i have to stay strong and i just i just have to walk through the school with my head held high going to class knowing that i can get through this one day at a time and the bullies will not keep me from coming into school and getting the education that i deserve i'm just gonna go to class and ignore everything I hate this. Everyone is still sniggering and laughing at me and it's so rough. I mean, I just have to try and focus on my studies, but it's really, really hard. I mean, everyone, and I mean everyone, knows about the messages and the pictures and everything. And Brittany has just turned the whole school against me. I don't know what I did to deserve this. I just, I just can't wait to go get some lunch. I mean, this is so hard. Oh, I wish little Cardi was here with me, but I just have to face today on my own. I can do this. I'm my own person. I mean, everyone in this classroom is just here to, you know, just, just learn, I guess. And we should stop focusing on the bullying stuff and just focus on our studies. I don't understand why everyone would just listen to Britney and to believe all these messages are true and laugh at them. All those pictures are so silly and I don't look like a pig and I'm not ugly and I don't deserve this. All for standing up to Britney for being class president, telling her that, telling everyone that she cheated. Oh gosh, I just want this day to be over already. Finally, it's lunchtime. A bit of food will make me think clearer. I just know it. Uh, hey, what's the special today? Oh, that looks pretty good. I'll just have this. Thanks. Okay, the Baconator. That'll do. Okay, now to find a seat. Uh, okay, I'll sit here. Sorry, that seat's taken. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, I didn't realize. Yeah, sure, you can take that seat. Oh gosh, people are still not letting me sit with them and stuff. It's so horrible. Okay, let me see. There must be another seat around here somewhere. Uh, how about here? Yeah, okay, I'll sit here. Ha! Do you honestly think we're going to sit beside you? Find your own seat. Oh, I don't see why you can't just sit next to me, but okay. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. Okay, there has to be another seat around here. Oh, here, look. Uh, okay, I'll just sit here. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna eat my lunch. Sorry, taken. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize the seat was taken. Oh gosh, this is the worst. Okay, oh look, a whole table that's free. Amazing. Okay, I'll sit here and I'll just eat my lunch on my own. <laughs> this is just awful. This isn't just cyberbullying anymore. Everyone has turned against me and I didn't do anything to deserve this. <laughs> I'm so upset. How can I cope coming to school every day if everyone is going to be like this and everyone's going to shun me and give me the cold shoulder and no one wants to be my friend anymore. Maybe, maybe I can go to little Cardi's boarding school or maybe, maybe I could be homeschooled. Oh, I don't know. All I know is no one wants to be my friend anymore and I'm I'm here just sitting on my own. How did school turn into this? I used to get along with everyone and now because of Brittany, no one likes me. This is just the worst now. I don't even feel like eating. This is how all these people are making me feel. They don't even want me to eat bacon. Well, not that they don't want me to, but they make me not want to. And that's, that's just not like me. And I just don't feel like myself. And it's raining outside and it just kind of shows my mood. And it's just, so oh, it's just the worst. I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I feel so alone. Is, is somebody sitting here? No, nobody's sitting here and I don't need you coming over and pretending to be nice or just coming over here to make fun of me. <sighs> Look, I'm just sitting here eating my lunch and I know that everyone hates me but you don't need to come over here and make me feel worse. <gasps> Oh, look, I'm sorry. I'm just probably taking things out on you. Why don't, why don't you sit down? I'm Tabby, by the way. I know it's probably none of my business but I heard what's been happening. I feel really bad for you. I had the same problem in my last school. 
Finally, finally somebody who knows how I feel. Oh, Tabby, you're a breath of fresh air. Honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. Oh my gosh, I've been feeling so lost and isolated in school. I don't even want to come here anymore. And I used to be class president and I used to love coming and learning and doing tests and stuff and studying. But now, now nobody seems to know how bad this is making me feel. And I just feel so alone, Tabby. Really, I just don't know how to deal with it. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry that I'm spewing out all my emotions at once and you just came over probably to sit down and eat your lunch quietly but I just feel so alone and lost and I just don't know what to do. Do you want my advice? First you need to delete your social media accounts and if anybody messages you horrible messages then block their number. These bullies are just hiding behind their computers. Don't let them drag you down. That's really good advice, Tabby, but it's more than that. It's Brittany. She's my horrible stepsister, and she's turning everyone against me. I don't have any proof that it's her, but I just know it is. She's just been sending, like, horrible pictures of me, and she's just been telling all these lies and stuff to everyone in school, and I just can't prove that it's her. I don't know what to do. Hmm. If she's your stepsister, then I presume you live in the same house. And if you live in the same house, then I presume you might be able to get your hands on her laptop. That's an amazing idea, Tabby. This has gone too far and I have to stop it. If Miss Simmons, the student coordinator, needs proof, then I'll get her the proof. Thank you so much for all your help, Tabby. You are a breath of fresh air in this school of followers. They just follow what everyone else says. And I'm going to go home right now and get the proof that Miss Simmons needs. Thank you so much. Enjoy your lunch. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Okay, I just need to go home and get Britney's laptop. This will like show that I have the proof and it will solve everything. Okay, I shouldn't be home from school at this hour, but if anyone catches me, I'll be in so much trouble. I have to sneak by and get into Brittany's room and find her laptop. No doubt she has it hidden away because she knows that she's done something wrong, but I just have to be really, really quick about it and get back to school and give it to Miss Simmons and that will be the proof that she needs to get Brittany and put her into detention and get her to leave me alone. That way school can go back to normal and I can go back to my normal studies and everything will be good. Okay, let's see. Okay, Brittany's room. They've been staying up in the attic. Well, near the attic. I just have to go and find it. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm nearly there. It doesn't seem to be anyone in the castle. This is pretty good. I mean, no one will catch me. No one will even know that I came home. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I really hope that she hasn't locked this laptop away somewhere where I won't be able to find it. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's see. Up again. I'm nearly here now. Hopefully Luna isn't around. Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, here we are. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, there's nothing around here. Uh, okay, well, there's her computer, but it, it definitely wouldn't have been her computer. I mean, let's see. No, I can't get access to that. Let's see. <gasps> the laptop. I have it. Oh, my gosh. Okay, how could it have been this easy? Okay, I have to get back to school. Oh, gosh. I'm just so nervous. Uh, I'm scared someone's going to catch me. But Brittany's in school, so I have nothing to worry about. She can't stop me from getting this laptop to Miss Simmons. There's just no way. It's not possible. Okay, I just need to be really, really quick, and no one will see me. Uh, oh, I can't believe this. Let's see. Check that the coast is clear. Okay, no one's down there. I think it's safe to go back to school now. Okay, I went as fast as I can, so hopefully... Hopefully I didn't miss too much school, but oh my gosh, I just need to go straight to Miss Simmons' office and show her the laptop so she has the proof that she needs, that she knows that I wasn't behind this and that Brittany's the one that's behind this and oh no, it's Brittany. <sighs> Brittany, what do you want? Oh, I am so happy I bought that anti-theft device for my laptop. Tell me, little Kelly, what exactly do you think you're doing? Nothing. I have no idea what you're talking about. You know what? I'm just going to come clean. You are so mean. You have been the one that's been sending me all those nasty messages and spreading rumors about me on social media. And now I have what I need to prove that you're behind the bullying. And once I give to Miss Simmons, then she can finally punish you. And yeah, you'll probably be expelled or even more likely the police will get involved. Bullying it is a serious crime, Brittany. And, and you know what? You might not even be arrested. How do you feel about that? Little Kelly, I'm... I'm sorry. 
everything just got out of hand, and I was, I was like, so angry about the class president thing. I didn't mean for it to go this far, but please, please, I'm begging you, don't give the laptop to Miss Simmons. What? Oh, now you're apologizing just because you got caught, Brittany. That is not good enough. And I'm not going to fall for your sorry act. I mean, I fell for your whole playing nice thing before in school. And look where that turned out. All of this happened. I'm not class president anymore. You ruined school for me. And I'm not going to fall for it again. I'm 100% going to Miss Simmons. And I'm giving her your laptop. And she will find out the truth. And you will be gone for good. And you will be gone out of my school life. And soon you'll be gone out of my life in the castle. And I won't have to deal with you anymore no you don't understand if the police get involved then please just trust me I'll do anything to make this up to you anything fine I believe that you're being sincere this time but I'm really curious as to why you're afraid of the police what's that about Brittany anyways I know something that you can do to make it up to me and it's gonna be awesome Please stand up for the Anti-Bullying Alliance. Stand up to bullying and say no to bullies. This is awesome. My new friend Tabby had the idea and it's such a good one. And now that Brittany's involved, she'll be able to use her popularity to make the Alliance really successful. Oh my gosh, it's so, so amazing. And Brittany's really getting into this. Okay, I'm just going to go and put around some more of these posters for using the hashtag power for good to help stop bullying. Oh, this school is tough enough with all the exams and stuff. No one needs to worry about the bullying. Oh gosh, I thought that this was the worst situation in the world, but now look how bad the situation is. It's really transformed into something really special and really, really good. It's time to stamp out bullying in Minecraft school and introduce a no tolerance policy. The Anti-Bullying Alliance is going to help so many students, both present and in the future, in Minecraft school. And Brittany is being really nice to me again. And I made a new friend, Tabby. Today has been a good day after all. Here guys, take a poster, take a leaflet. It's the Anti-Bullying Alliance. And guess who's involved in it? Yes, that's right, Brittany. So you guys should 100% get behind it and make sure that you use your no tolerance and the hashtag power for good because we don't want any bullies in this school. Oh my gosh, Tammy, I'll join you for lunch in a second. I'm just going to keep on handing out some more of these posters. There you go, guys. Everyone take one. We have a no tolerance policy now in the school. And that means anyone reported bullying will be expelled so there we go everyone take more take more oh my gosh it's been such a long and busy day but it's been awesome i'm definitely gonna need some of this food oh my gosh and i have my new friend tammy now this is amazing Ah, oh, Tammy, honestly, I don't know what I would have done without you. I haven't been able to eat for days. School has been so tough, but with you giving me your advice and setting up the Anti-Bullying Alliance, it's just amazing. I really don't know what the school would have turned into, but now, even though it's raining, I don't think that tomorrow is going to be so bad. I thought that all this weather and all these bullies and everything, it was going to be the end of me, but because of you and because of me standing up to the bully, now everything is okay. I didn't even have to report Brittany so she doesn't have to be expelled and she's being nice to me again. Maybe she's finally learned her lesson. At least I hope she has. It's kind of hard to tell with her but you'll learn to get to know her too. It's hard to read her but Tammy honestly you are so so cool and I'm so glad that you showed up today and sat on my table. I really really was going to quit school and leave and go to my other sister at Little Cardi's boarding school but now I think I'll be able to stay here and no bully is going to push me out of my own school. I have a right to learn and a right to come to school and that's what's most important now why don't we set up a study group just me and you to study for Miss Gibbons history test tomorrow it's going to be really really tough and I thought that maybe we could help each other well, guys, that was a couple of really tough days at school with Brittany bullying me. But if any of you guys are affected by this video and are being bullied, please make sure you tell someone. Tell a friend, tell a teacher, tell someone that you trust. Bullying is not okay and the no tolerance policy should be brought to every school. So make sure you speak out so it doesn't happen to anyone else. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a like and a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and everyone else is in the little club. All the links are down below. Don't forget there might be some new links 
links to go check out, guys. So make sure to check out that description. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat for all real life little catty things and sneak peeks and everything. And I hope you like this episode. I li- hope you like my new friend Tammy because I sure do. But until next time, you guys, see you again soon. <laughs>